You know I'm filming, right? At least let me think about what I'm going to do, Winston. Don't just put me on the spot like that. I don't even know what I'm going to do. It's the best way. We'll Is wait. It? Yeah, we'll wait. We'll Is wait. It? We'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. I don't want to wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Right. We want to get it done. Ah. I would have done legs with you, but got a bad finger. That injury. Yeah. That bad. My little back. finger. Knee's gone. A hole in my bum. You got a hole in your bum? <laughs> yeah. That's why you've gone legs. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ah. I've got to be very, very, very careful on how I train legs because I went through quite a long period of time where I couldn't train them hardly at all. When I say hardly at all, I think uh, a year and a half ago, I think I probably trained them twice in that year because uh, I had bad sciatica and plus I had um, uh, some injuries in, in, in one leg. So I had to be very, very careful. What happens is when we start to feel okay, we end up, we end up rushing back into things. We end up forgetting about the niggles and the pains because we feel okay that day or at that specific time. Um, and really, we need to be conscious about training smart all the fucking time. Especially when we're taking gear, especially when we're taking supplements like Mental X. And this isn't a video advertising Mental X, but I'm using Mental X as an example. Your muscle fibers will always grow a lot quicker than, than your tendons will getting stronger. Okay, so I'm hoping that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is the size will come uh, quicker before, I suppose, the, um, the tendons are able to support the muscle fibers. Does that make sense? This is, how I, this is how I'm understanding it. What you're saying is the muscle's going to grow quicker before the tendons will really get used to the fact that it's now right. holding up. The muscle. muscles are completely different. The muscles and the tendons are two completely different things, okay? The tendons are what hold everything together, yep. okay? The muscles give you the capabilities. That, that, that gives you the capabilities to, to um, I suppose, move things, yeah? It gives you the strength to be able to walk, you know, to be able to um, uh, lift something. Yep. The tendons keep everything to, together, yep. yeah? So, you know, like, like elastic bands, yep. so to speak. In order for... Um, Elastic bands, you've got to think of your tendons like elastic bands. So in order for them not to stop, it's best to keep them warm. Because if they're cold, they'll crack, they'll snap. Yeah, just like an elastic band. Mm -hmm. um, if you want them to stretch, you've got to keep them at a, a moderate fucking temperature, right? So when training in the winter, um, you want to be, keep a hoodie on, a jumper on. You want to be fucking training with a sweater and keep your body constantly warm. You don't want to risk anything. Mm -hmm. Does that yeah, perfect sense. make sense? Perfect sense. So you must take your time when taking gear or when taking products like Mental X because your muscles are gro gonna grow a lot quicker than what your tendons will getting stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to give your tendons time to catch up is what I'm saying. Yep. Which is what I'm doing now. So I think my very best lift on the squats was probably five plates for around 15 to 16 reps. Um, now, I'm going to no more than two plates uh, aside because I'm training differently now. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to put myself at risk mm -hmm. uh, at any point, okay? So I'm doing five um, normal reps in moderations and five rest pauses. What is a rest pause? Those that are new to training, um, a rest pause is a pause. Um, normally at the bottom of the rep, normally at the full stretch of the muscle, okay? So with triceps, I would pause it when my arms are at their most bent, so I'm stretching the whole tricep. With biceps, it'll be the opposite. Um, with legs, it's the same. So you want to be pausing at the bottom. That's how I would do a rest pause on a leg press or a squat. Now, I haven't done squats for a very, very, very long time. So, um, you know, rest pauses aren't necessarily a great way to create shape, but they're a great way to make the muscle solid, make the muscle fucking strong, you know, make it thick. And when it comes to legs, that's, that's, that's the core of your strength. That's where, you know, that, that's the most important. I hear thing. a question and it might be a silly one, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. What? 
that rest pause, yeah. does it help the tendons in any way? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Especially after you've done two sets of, of um, uh, moderate reps, okay, with momentum. Mm -hmm. So if you do a couple of sets warm up, maybe it's just on the bar, maybe it's just on 10 kilos, just, just keeping the muscles warm with momentum. When I say momentum, I don't mean speed, but I don't mean pause either, just a nice controlled momentum, then you go into the rest pauses. So you're warming the muscle up gradually, okay. yeah? And you're constantly doing that even before you're doing each rest pause. So even on, on, the, on the sets where I'm about to do a rest pause now, I will do the five reps with momentum first, then do the rest pauses second. Yeah, so they're constantly getting a flow of blood into the area before you start putting um, added strain yeah. onto the muscle and the tendons, yeah. which is highly important. So it's not particularly heavy weight, but that makes it even more important not to get carried away. So you want to flare your lats out when squatting. You want to keep that back tight, keep them traps elevated, keep your heels planted. One, two, three, four, Cool. I think you can tell <laughs> by my form and the way I'm a bit shaky. I haven't done squats for a very long time. I think a lot of people will do good to remember you're only as good as your last. A very wise man once told me, a guy who I uh, respect and look up to a lot, he actually took me out of care. A man's man, Reg, his name is. Him and his wife sort of fostered me for the best part of a, a year and a half. Give a description. Swallows, big ego across his fucking chest. And uh, he always told me, you're only as good as your last fight. So don't get too cocky. And it goes for anything, even in the gym. I used to be able to lift this. I used to be able to do five plates, 15, 16 reps. I'm out of breath now on two. Means fuck all. Well, I say I'm out of breath on two. I've done quite a lot before this set. And of course, the rest pauses really do take it out of you. But you've got to drop your ego, is what I'm trying to say. You're only as good as your last. That, as much as a lot of us, including myself, don't want to admit it, that is a fact. Doesn't matter what I used to be on the bench, or what I could squat, or what I could leg press, or how I even looked at one, one point of time. I don't look like that anymore and I don't lift that anymore. So there is no point in getting envious over a young kid that can do just as much. Um, there's no point in getting jealous. There's no point in hating for no particular reason on social media or not offering advice if you think, you know what, he's got something. He ain't doing it quite right. But I notice he's, Mm. He's quite strong. Mm. Fuck. I'm going to show him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you might, think about it, you might just get a little bit of buzz back by passing that on to someone else yeah. and watching them achieve something that you once did or were never quite good enough to. Do you see what I mean? How nice that would be. And I've been guilty of it. You know? Yeah, a couple of times, yeah. Yeah, I've gone out pissed off. You know what I mean? <laughs> but when I sit down and think about it, I think, what am I pissed off about? The lad's all right, really. Yeah. He's a good lad. I'm just pissed off because 
I'm injured at that time, or I can't lift at that particular time. Most of this game is about what's from. being passed down as well, isn't it? What this industry? Yeah, it's about yeah we've all been, we've down. all learned from Absolutely. what we've had handed down from us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but I think, um, especially on social media, it's given us a platform to hate and criticise others. Excuse me for being either where we want to be or somewhere where we never got to. Yeah. When when we look at it, we're either living the life we want, or he's doing something that I can't. Mm. You know. I mean, I've never been like that on on the internet. It's been complete the complete opposite. But um, but yeah, I have had it. I've had it in the gym. A lad that I actually really get on with. I really like. And he's fucking. He's not a big guy, but for his size, fucking he's strong. And he's a cocky fucker as well. And I happened to be not in a very good place mentally that day. And there was me pressing or doing something. And. He said something and I sort of shut him down. But then the next day, he didn't really notice it. No one did. I didn't highlight it. The next day I just went and made an effort to spend a bit more time and joke around with him. Because I noticed it, I realised it. And uh, there was nothing much in it. He was on form, I wasn't. But what I'm trying to say is, we've got to train smart. It doesn't matter how much we want lifted or what we want to look like, you know. We're only ever as good as our last now bodybuilding isn't my main priority anymore. I just maintain, um, or try to at least, especially with work and business. Business is now taking a completely different path in life. Um, but bodybuilding will always still be um, a part of me. But of course, sometimes life takes over and you've got to change your priorities. So, but hopefully that's um, for the young people that will watch it, say young. <laughs> 19, 20 year olds. For, for the first timers out there that are watching, try some rest pauses. For those out there that are struggling with um, with injuries, um, try rest pauses. You know, with even with a lightweight. I mean, I've been doing rest pauses with 10 kilos, um, with 15 kilos, with 20 kilos, now with 40 kilos. So I've done quite a lot of sets, and I've done two or three sets sometimes on, on each weight. So it doesn't really matter how many sets you do, it doesn't really matter the weight that you do. Try some rest pauses. Always do your momentum reps first, followed by your rest pauses, and see how you go. But um, I really do believe that you will start to learn how to train around the injury. You will still get a pump. There's still a way of, um, of training, even if you have certain injuries. You've just got to work out what best suits you. Finish off legs. Off trailer, baby.